Hey, it's Tony Pye. I'm here with Well Connected AZ. I've been in Phoenix, Arizona for my whole life. I'm born and raised here. I'm a local. I know, super surprising. Nobody's a local. Well, I am. And I've been DJing and in the producer game for, I want to say, eight years. Closer to ten, though, if you count all my record collecting. I first got into DJing by collecting records. So I would go to, I was really into punk music when I was younger, like a young teen and I would buy lots of records at the shows, which eventually led me to buying different types of records at the record store, which led me into getting an MPC and getting really into beats and hip-hop and DJing hip-hop as well as making hip-hop beats. And then eventually that kind of led into DJing out for people. So it all started based on digging and just the love of music. I describe my style as wild card, so I'll play anything. <laughs> um, I will literally jump from one genre to another seamlessly and as long as it'll make the people dance, you know, I will play it. When the Phoenix New Times shows me love, I always feel super grateful because, I mean, there's a ton of DJs out here that are super talented and deserve recognition, and for me to be considered one of the ones that gets that recognition, it's very, very rewarding, and it really makes me feel like, wow, all this hard work I've been doing all these years is really paying off, and you know what? I can do this. I can take this anywhere. Yeah, so I have been really busy. I've been really super booked. It's been overwhelming and also really fun. Um, I recently was able to quit kind of like my daytime job, and now I'm doing this full time. So I'm, again, I'm just really grateful and happy to be here and ready to contribute and to also bring everybody else up. So if you have good music, you're a good person, and you want to get out there, drop me a line. My style, ooh, you know what? My style really comes from, oh God, so many places. I mean, I just like to thrift. I'm a digger, right? So I'll thrift and I'll find really cool pieces and then I'll go to like Chris Town Mall or what was formerly Chris Town Mall, hit up XI or Wave or one of those really cute little club stores and like mix and match, right? So get me in a thrift store, get me in an H&M, I'll mix and match and make something super fab out of it, guaranteed, on a low budget. Hip-hop is so poppin'. Jamie, one of my partners in the Hydrate crew, DJ here at 101.1 The Beat. She's got excellent style as well. She hooks me up all the time. She's got a deep pop. See, me, Jamie, Lee. Check it I, out. I second that. Yeah. I'm trying to be Jamie Lee. <laughs> uh, my favorite bar is Bikini Lounge. It's the oldest bar in Phoenix. It was made, I think, in the 1930s. It's literally the oldest bar in Phoenix, but it's super fun. Second favorite's gonna have to be Barsmith. I've been going to Barsmith, God, since I was like a teenager. Yeah. And it's still around, so I have mad love for the ba uh, Barsmith kind of monarch crew. They're definitely my faves. And of course, all of the Stateside Presents locations are my absolute fave. I always have a great time playing there. They treat me super well. The music scene here in Phoenix has definitely been around for a long time. It's been a slow and steady growth, I must say. It's been around longer than I have, but to see where it's at now is super amazing. I'm really loving all the diversity that I'm seeing. Very proud of that. I'm seeing a lot of different types of people with different types of interests and musical, uh, you know, talents being put on and having their stuff showcased. And that's that's what's making me the most happy. Is just definitely seeing the diversity finally getting her shine. Yeah, I think it was definitely. That's the only way I can really justify it. Is organic. Uh, I literally was asked to DJ and I think I said no for my first like gig offer because I didn't even want to be a DJ <laughs> when I first started. I wanted to just make music. So, you know, it's definitely been an organic thing where I've kind of grown into being a DJ um, in public in front of everybody and, and now where I'm at, it's, it's just been amazing to grow. Yeah, so when I perform, I definitely become a different person. Uh, I'm zoned in. I'm completely focused on making sure that everything sounds perfect and I also try to zone in with the crowd. So I dance with the crowd. Dancing with the crowd helps me know what transition is going to be really good. What song is going to really set it off. If I'm dancing along with everybody else, it's so much easier. So that's kind of how I get into my mode. I jam out a little bit before my shows. And when I'm playing, I try to be as involved as I want everyone else to be. That way, you know, it turns into a party. Oh yeah, I love it. I love working with other DJs and doing back-to-back -back sets. I've even pushed and done back-to-back -back sets with producers who don't even DJ. So I'll have the producer show up with their beat machine and we'll figure out how to go from one song to another and I can always make it work. So I'm definitely into challenging myself and bringing new people in. My most memorable show is going to be New Year's this year uh, with Sean Watson. He had me play on top of something called Calliope which is at Bonnaroo right now. It's a huge giant bus made of speakers and lights. 
with flamethrowers. I don't know, I probably didn't say anything else. It's insane. So I got to play the New Year's drop and can do the New Year's countdown on the mic uh, with my friend Blossom this year, 2018, and that was definitely one of my favorite shows. Plus, the other DJ that I was working with, Blossom, we got together and we kind of planned the set out, and it was a really, really good set. So I have to say, that's going to have to top it for me so far. Um, haven't played Meow Wolf yet. That's coming up with Miha on the 16th, so that's probably going to be another doozy for me <laughs> as far as one of my faves. I have a few residencies. Um, one would be Crescent Ballroom. I do something called Friday Night Funk. That's going to be on a seasonal basis, so that usually doesn't kick off until the fall, winter time. Um, but whenever I'm there, I'm going to be there on Friday nights. And I also do the last Wednesday of every month on the rooftop at Barsman for a night called Astral Plane. This is going to be a future, uh, futuristic kind of night, definitely more on the experimental side of beats and bass music. So come through if you really like that, you know, real hard stuff. You can find me at, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere at Stony Pie. S T O N E Y P I E. Stony Pie. Shout out to the Hydrate crew. I'm currently kind of getting a collective put together of some really rad DJs, and we're about to really pop it off. And you know, hydrate this thirsty desert with the good music you've been looking for. So definitely keep an eye out for that. That's going to include DJ Pootie Cat, Acacia, uh, Jamie Lee, who's a 101.1 resident and as well as DJ Shady Baby, which is going to be Ben Cherry. So I'm really excited about that. Also shout out to the Guild crew, a whole crew of beat makers and producers who have been holding it down out here for a while, so I really respect them and we've been doing shows together for a while. So definitely shout out to the Guild crew and shout out to Alex, DJ Gentrification, one of the oldest DJs out here. If you haven't seen him, Tuesday nights at Bikini Lounge, 6.02 Tuesdays, it's definitely the spot to go. One last shout out, Sean Watson. Sean Watson does BFF Fridays every Friday night at Bar Smith on the rooftop. They've got the best EDM guys, so definitely check it out, especially if you're trying to avoid the cheesy stuff. I'm telling you, it's top notch. <laughs>